Well, dear, as people, we have to be have to try to be brave in the face of things that we don't like. And it sounds rather silly to say it that way, but when we understand that we're driven by this deep inside, you know, this constant need for everything to be nice, this constant fear that everything won't be nice. This is really what anxiety is, you know. So we know we can't guarantee it. So what are we going to do, you know? Um, so one of the one of the approaches is to be, as I said, to be brave when things go wrong. And that gives us strength. Because if we freak out every time, when even the smallest thing happens, we, it's sort of like we become very fragile. You know, and we become more and more fearful. But if we can accept that things don't always go the way we want, you get the red light, you stub your toe, the boyfriend's mean, bad things happen, even very bad things, and they do for sure. But somehow if we can stay steady, go one step at a time, when the thing happens, keep yourself grounded. You know, it's like being pushed by the wind. You stay steady. It's mental. It's, it's an attitude. We have to cultivate it. We have to have confidence that we can cultivate it. Then, then... Then if there's something to be doing, something to do to fix the problem, you'll even be able to do it. But if you can't fix the problem, you know, you haven't had a mental breakdown. Sounds easy, sounds wonderful, but it's possible. And this is the way we can then manage what goes on in our lives, you know, instead of fearing the bad things that might happen and fearing that the good things won't happen. So of course, like everything, it's slow, but it's possible.